What's up? I'm telling you right now. HBO should have been fired, Jim Lampley. Max Kellerman needs to be fired. Harold Letterman needs to be fired. They need to... You can't go into a whole new era with the same problems. Swipe the entire lineup. Keep Roy Jones and bring in some other people to to that knows the sport that's covering today's times. Uh, Harold's not seeing the fights anymore. He's still terrible. Lampley is still the company man. He's only going to do what the project manager or program manager rather tells him to say. And it's time to go. I mean, they need to be down at the public aid office right now filling out paperwork. I mean, Max Kellerman got his job on ESPN. I don't know how long he got that, but Max could do other things. And he needs to go ahead and do that. You know, and Lampley, you know, it's like, look, that AARP, you need to be in some, you know, some khaki shorts and some messed up looking shirt and on a boat with a stogie. You and Harold, Harold Letterman. Going fishing. Yeah, let's go fishing. Cause I I don't think boxing's the same. Nobody's throwing punches anymore. Except for Triple G. Jim <laughs> Let's go, Harvey. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it's about time I take my exit. I want all cameras zooming in on me. As I leave this network. It has been my pleasure to come before you every night and give you my best. <laughs> did I cry right that time? Yes, you did. So, yeah, I mean, we should go ahead and get that monologue already recorded. As this is my last broadcast. <laughs> oh, man. Lamp is something else, man. You know, he cares about that broadcast job so much in the program that he actually forgets about the actual fight at hand. His job is to promote the agenda, whatever is on the screen, and their agenda was clearly Sergey Kovalev. Now, they forgot, even though they're in, in the midst of the action, they're seeing Andre Ward basically box and break down his Russian. They still are minimizing his work to try to compliment Kovalev. As you could tell from the interviews, people are not stupid. The way they interviewed Andre Ward is like he almost got apologized for winning the fight. It's like Andre Ward started off by telling you, look, the fight, it was a close fight. I know it's close because I was just in it. <laughs> so I know it's a close fight, you know, and I know his side is going to feel like they won. And if I didn't get my hand win raised, I would have been disappointed too. But the fight could have went either way. It's a close fight. But I did feel like I won it. Down the stretch. And the crowd here, they felt like I won it too. What more do you want from him? Why do you need to reiterate over and over again? I Well, I thought it was a close fight. Again, I'm telling you, I had it a close fight. No, Who cares about what you had it as? Nobody asked you that. You didn't reiterate that over with Sergey Kovalev. You brought it up at the end as just a statement to make sure you said it. Well, I scored the fight a close fight. Sir, and then it's like he has to apologize for saying for winning the fight. He got to get badgered. Kovalev, it's a whole different type of conversation with him. It's even when Andre Ward was starting to come on in the later rounds. You still kept your composure. How did you do that? <laughs> it's like when he was losing rounds, he kept his composure. What does that even mean? Like he said, um, that's my job. Like what kind of question? Like what kind of question is you giving him? I'm like, he, he's Russian and just learned English and no, that was a dumb question. That's like saying, you, when, when you were losing your job today and they were firing you, you still kept a smile on your face. How did you do that? <laughs> it's like, what difference does it make? I'm losing my job. <laughs> I mean, they need to just wipe wipe the slate clean. 
Because the more they talk, the more you realize they don't know boxing. Max Kellerman doesn't understand boxing at all. He is a fan of it, but he doesn't know it at all. And when you listen to Max Kellerman talk, he's always in it with Roy Jones, who actually fought. So when Roy Sands is telling you something that happened, Max would say something stupid. Roy would correct him. Then Max would turn around and say the same exact thing Roy Jones just said. It's like, dude, we heard it when Roy said it. We don't need you to reiterate and back the back up Roy. Roy knew what he was talking about. You didn't. When Roy was talking about Kovalev was breaking down. And, and he was like, well, what do you mean? And Jim was like, well, Lampley, like, well, what do you mean? He was like, it just don't have, the punches don't have the same steam on it that they had early on and this and that. And, you know, and Andre Ward's going to the body. Yes, Andre Ward is landing some hellacious shot. Here come Max want to jump in like and take credit and talk over Roy. I don't like it because it's ridiculous. It's condescending. It's like... Roy can't have an opinion of his own without them trying to backpedal off of it. Do you have an original thought, Max Kellerman? Because every time you make an original thought, they come in and shoot it right down. Roy will come in like, like, no, he's not cutting off the ring and he's following him around and that's not what you need to do. He needs to cut off the ring. Yeah, he's just following Ward around. He needs to cut the ring off because if he doesn't, I'm like, you just going to sit there and repeat what Roy Jones say every day? Because you don't have nothing original to say. You can't follow the action. They need to fire these guys. Lampley, we already know he don't know nothing about about boxing. He just, everything about him is story. Look at him. Sergey, he's always coming forward. He's always battling. He's always in there. And he's coming now. I'm like, ain't nobody even throwing a punch. What in the world is he talking about? <laughs> Look at him, and he's coming now. I'm like, he's not doing anything. Like, what is he talking about? I was, I, I rewind that about three times. I'm like, what is he telling? He hasn't landed one punch during that whole stanza of, of you trying to get people charged up. I just think the dog and pony show is over. And because of social media now, YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, social media, period, you can go back and watch these clips and listen to them. And they're being scrutinized. And it's it's more on a public scale that you see the biasness. You see the ridiculousness. And then the ask, the ask Andre Ward, you'd seem surprised when you won. No, I don't know where you got that, Max. Then they're going to go and show you a video. Of Andre Ward. Do you think he looks so surprised or happy? <laughs> Y'all let the people decide that. Who cares if he felt surprised or happy? What does that have to do with the man winning the fight? You trying to villainize him to make more people believe your bias. And I understand, this is a fight. I talked with Paulie Malinaji and we and him had a conversation after this fight. And he said, look, this is how the fight is going. This is one of those fights that you would have to know something about boxing to see Andre Ward winning the fight. You would have to know boxing. No average casual fan can watch this and say, Andre Ward won the fight. It's very hard for them to do that. It would take somebody that knows something about the sport of boxing to know what Andre Ward did to him. You know, Paulie took it to a whole nother level, the whole mental thing from getting up from the knockdown and how hard it was and to to just finish the fight and doing it in style the way he did and taking the taking the the mental approach away from Sergey Kovalev. You know, as well, you know, Paulie saw a whole different aspect of it, and he was right about that, too. Now, when I sit there and talk to Paulie, it's the same thing. Same conversation. He's a fighter. He saw it like I saw it. And I'm like, how could I see it? These guys are paid to, to see it. 
These guys are paid to be analysts. But like he said, they never box. And Paulie said, I can't tell you what it is like from a a boxing fan perspective because I can't I will never just be a just a boxing fan. I'm somebody who grew up boxing. So I'm always gonna look at it from a boxer's perspective. And from a boxer's perspective, you know, I can see he's like I picked Kovalev to win. But Andre Ward was the one that won the fight. And it was easy. And, and me and him had it. I was like, well, he won that easy. I had it 8-4. to four. And he was like, yeah, that's facts. I was like, I had it 8-4. to four. And then I'm, I'm being generous. It really was like 10-2. to two. But HBO need to get rid of these dudes, man. They really need to get rid of all these Guys that are just the old hanger-ons and the name, believe me, we boxing does not. Let him do that fight game show. Let him do that where he can go up there and make up stories and go over there and act like people actually care about him. And get some real commentators in HBO. We are tired. I'm exhausted of listening to these clowns. I just wish the UK broadcast came on and we can get them covering the fight because they're going to give it to you raw. Because that Ricky had Juan Lascano commentary was probably some of the best work I've heard in a long time. And I said, this commentary is non-biased. It's legit. And I can't believe I'm hearing it. And I need to go get my garbage cans. Oh, my goodness. That's what I forgot to do. I'm out. It's your boy Carcino. <laughs> I left my garbage cans outside. And, you know, I'm out here in the suburbs now. See, if I was black, it'd be cool. But, you know, around, in, you know, this was the white folks. They wait for stuff like that. Look, look what the black guy didn't get his garbage cans. See, I told you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, he left it out there six hours. Yeah, he's the only one. <laughs> I'm out.